finish this mission. I don't know why I just drove this way. Why I thought that was the road. Will you sit? Please? <coughs> Thank you for coming. <coughs> Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a 
garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You think if I tell him everything that I'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. <sighs> so how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room... I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end <laughs> up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. <laughs> this actually been a pretty interesting case. Story? Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. <laughs> you are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh. Fuck. Want to change jobs but afraid for your safety? 
Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you, exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Well, one thing led to another, and some lead was fired. No shit. Between you and those spies? Huh. Burned to a crisp in their own van. Managed to squeeze one of them before... He confessed, but his word isn't worth Jack now. Damn. All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning... First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap! Well, then... Good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who were behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people <clears throat> talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. I'm guessing there'll be another point of that coming up later on. Gotta take out this rogue AI bullshit. And with that, we're going to go help Judy. God bless America. I just said way too much. I'm so used to B being mercy break on B games. I am a t- 
terrible driver of vehicles. <coughs> I don't know if you're aware, but I might be the worst vehicle driver of all time. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. <coughs> expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger, get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. Some deeds about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth about Evelyn, what happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. <laughs> Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? 
to make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? We're not done talking. But you do well to hear Judy out, or we'll make sure your worst fear comes true. Oh. Stand to lose my youth, at ease, and influence? Something's gonna happen, but you'll be the last to know. Huh. Wanna tear clouds out of the Tiger Claw's paws? Dolls should own it, control it. All right, this has been fun and all, but I think it's time you got going. We gotta do something, or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Mess with the claws? Blowback will hit every one of the dolls in here. So, you won't help? I thought I expressed myself clearly. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. That went smoothly. She didn't even let me make my point. Don't worry. She put on an act. Needed to show who's boss. We took her by surprise. She couldn't do anything but throw us out. She'll call soon enough and ask what we actually wanted. You might be onto something. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, he used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now.
Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Michael, what you fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here, should have stayed home. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. V. the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. World did change though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. Yeah. That's what I mean. What can I pick them up? Great. Yep. Go ahead. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works <laughs> with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. Cyber Psycho. Mm. 
Cyber Psycho, we're going to save. <coughs> How bad can this be, right? Very high, will kill me three or four dozen times.
Holy crap. He fucking... The sister did the implants and made her into a monster, and that's why she's there killing her. So that's gonna be... more than me. I miss. <clears throat> There's something up there that I'm not seeing. That was some fucked up shit, man. points.
I'm change the vehicle though. The warmth of the corporate lab, uh, that unique thrill of internal power struggles. What? Got a score to settle us on. Aha! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Rats still in the race. Don't you need to be somewhere else? Your piece need oiling? Guitar need tuning, maybe? Mm, I get it. Fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. Empty. Hello, V. Man, time flies. Inferred death just ain't what it used to be. Key word, inferred. But Abernathy is purging the depth. Purged me. I took my house, accounts, implants. But I'm not done. I'm gonna prove she was wrong about me. Shove it down her throat. Ah, so you make your move stepping on me. Gonna serve my head up on a silver platter. And you think Abernathy will welcome you back, arms outstretched? That's about the size of it. Now turn. Hands on your head. Hop to it. Should have checked my schedule. Got plans for this evening. Mm-hmm. Namely? About to find out. Nothing like running into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ah, oh, the golden olden days. Not in the mood, Johnny. Should be. Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery like him. Have a nice night, V. I'll be at home. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see again, you know, leave a like, up, and subscribe. 
all that good stuff means a lot helps the channel grow and I really do appreciate it. Until next time, love you guys. Hope to see you again soon. Take care and I will talk to you later. Come back to find out who the hell this guy is that called me. Left me a message. Call me a motherfucker. And, uh, see whether he actually has a legit job or why did he die. Yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll talk to you later.